Hey YouTube, Sweet Knives here. Thanks for checking out this video. So let's just uh, jump right into it. You've bought the WorkSharp Pro Precision Adjust and now you're wondering how can I take this to the next level and you've come to the right place. So the base system gives you all of these stones and they also give you a ceramic and they give you a leather. And one of the questions that gets asked a lot is why would I need anything more than what they give you? And the answer to that is <clears throat> because the base system gets the knife sharp using lapping films gets your knife a lot sharper and so that leads us into the question of lapping films what are lapping films and how do I get them and so I'm gonna just start by saying uh, these are 3m lapping films they're the best lapping films in the whole wide world and the reason why is they're made by 3M, the largest basically adhesive company in the world and one of the largest chemical industrial companies. Nobody can match the way they make these. And I don't work for 3M, but these are, these are amazing. They stick, you see that sticky stuff on the back. So these are what they call PSA lapping films. And so what happens is, you know, you ask the question, where can I get these? Well. To make it simple, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. make it simple. Click the link in the description. I'm linking directly to Amazon and on Amazon, they sell a six pack of these films and the six pack comes in basically sheets, sheets of paper. Like in this case, this is uh, three micron. And what you got to do is you got to take your plate and you got to cut. You can get about 10 or 12 on one sheet. This is by far the most cost effective way to get lapping films. Uh, there's just no other better, cheaper way. Now I can, I've made a whole bunch myself. These are ones for the pro. I've already cut them. I've made them. They're ready to go. So if there's people out there that don't want to buy the sheets and you don't want to cut them yourself um, and you want to pay about double the price, you can email me sweetknives2020 at gmail.com and I can send you some, but they're going to cost a lot more than what you can get them online. And in fact, one thing I should mention that a lot of people don't know, 3M doesn't just sell to the public. They don't just sell this stuff to the public. You have to be a distributor, a big, huge distributor to sell 3M products. Um, and so what that means is there's only a few companies in the world that actually sell this stuff. And so the link that I'm providing on Amazon is to one of those big distributors where you can get it cheaper than any other place anywhere. Like I said, you get six films and or six sheets of this stuff, all the different grits, and it's the best price anywhere. And you can cut your own and you can make your own. So that leads into the next question. What do I do with the lapping films? Well, one of the included pieces that the WorkSharp team includes is this ceramic piece. And what they're gonna do is they're actually gonna start selling this separately as an accessory on their website. They haven't done it yet, but probably for most of you, by the time you watch this video, you'll be able to buy these for five or six, seven, eight dollars. I don't know what they're gonna charge. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna need, you know, six different ones for all the lapping films. And then once you have those, then you'll be able to consistently you know, put your lapping film that's cut onto these ceramic pieces. So as soon as they come out with those, you'll, that's what you'll use. That's how you'll do it. Until they come out with those, what you got to do is you can buy the lapping film and then you can, um, you can put one sheet on, on here, use it, take it off, put the next sheet on, use it, take it off. I know it's a crappy way to do it, but there's no other easy way to do it. That's the easiest way to do it until they come out with those additional pieces. And I just want to say, this is not a super simple um, thing. I've actually been testing various um, ideas that I've had. And as you can see, um, these are some of the ideas I had, but because this uses a magnet, here, it makes it a little bit tricky. So like this, this is aluminum, doesn't stick. So you actually need something that's metal that can stick to that and not screw up your, your, uh, your blade. So like with the acrylic or the glass, the problem is you can get that on there, but then as you're going across the knife, this catches right there because your knife is magnetized. So it's a little bit tricky is what I'm saying. So the best thing that I've found that's going to be available are these ceramic plates and then you'll just have multiple ones where you can stick the lapping film onto here. 
Now, if you're a machinist and you don't mind doing some work, the other option is you can buy stock steel at like Home Depot and you can cut your own like I did. This took a little bit of time, but I was able to actually cut and then I sanded this to make it flat on this one side. Um, you know, uh, you can do that and then you gotta drill the holes. That takes a little bit more work. I'm not able to mass produce those, unfortunately. I'm sure someone in the distant future will be able to sell these in a kit and so forth. But that doesn't negate the fact if you want the cheapest price on lapping films, you got to click the link in the description because I'm giving you straight to the distributor. No other place will be cheaper than those guys. So anyway, I do just to summarize, I think the best option will be to buy these plates, put the lapping films on them uh, that you buy from Amazon, cut them up yourself and save a lot of money. And that's going to be the most cost effective way to do this. Now, let me talk a little bit more about um, about lapping films. Using lapping films eliminates the need to strop the knife with leather or use paste on leather. Um, it just doesn't, it, you don't need to do that with lapping films. So if you're new, I know a lot of my viewers are not new to this, but what happens is you can take a knife and it'll mirror the edge by going through this sequence. And the reason why is this is 30 micron, this green one, this is 12 then you got nine, then you got six, and then you got three, then you got one micron, and then you got 0.5. This is like 50,000 grit equivalent. And the highest that they go up to is they got an 800 here. And then this brings it to about maybe 1200, maybe 1500. And then this doesn't really do a whole lot. Um, so you can see, you know, this is taking it to a whole new level and I've done so many videos. You can check out my sharpening videos up here if you want to see this in, in action and I'm going to do a lot more. The way I used to do things before they had lapping films is I used Japanese Naniwa Chosera stones. They were some of the best water stones available that money could buy and you could get a really nice mirror edge on it. The problem is those were messy. They took more time and they weren't really consistent because then you'd have to flatten the stone and so forth. So lapping films eliminated all that. They made this so much easier. You get the consistent angle, the width of that's the same. We're using the same system, we're generating consistency and we're progressively moving up the grids. And like I said before, no other company in the entire world has made film or what they would say lapping film or, you know, AKA high grade sandpaper that is as good as 3M. No other company. If China could have done it, they would have done this a long time ago. 3M still dominates this. Um, it's not even close. And so thousands and thousands of other people have bought lapping films that I've sold personally for other systems. Um, I cut them up and sell them and they've bought, I mean, I've sold countless thousands of these. But now I don't have the time to do that anymore and I'm trying to save you guys money. So the best way is you guys buy your whole sheets like this from Amazon and save yourself a whole bunch of money and you'll be good to go for a long, long time. And that's the way that you are going to get the very sharpest knife in the whole wide world because you're going to apex the knife a lot better. You're going to make the... the um, you're going to make it much more smoother and it's going to just be a lot, lot better. So anyway, that's the whole deal. Just to recap, try the lapping films, um, check the links in the description, buy the sheets and then keep checking work sharp and buy more of these ceramic plates. Or if you're a machinist and you think you can make these, um, yourself out of the stock steel, go ahead, try for that. Um, it's not a bad option if you can, uh, do it yourself, but, uh, I just wanted to kind of highlight that. That's all I got to say, guys. I don't have anything more. I don't think for now. I'm going to be sharpening several knives coming up and I'm going to go over this system uh, with you, you know, how I do it. Oh, and one more final thing. Um, one of the things that I use to clean this lapping film is this alcohol. I'm also going to put a link in the description. This is 99% isopropyl alcohol. And what I do is I put a little bit on a, uh, on a cloth, just, you know, a little bit. And then after you're done using it, you just wipe this alcohol on here and then dry it off. And that cleans these to back to perfect. And then you can use this for like, you know, I don't know, five to 10 times before you'd have to change it out. 
And so you'll want to buy a bottle of this isopropyl unless your store sells this. You don't need 99. I just think that's a little bit better. But otherwise, Amazon's got it right here. Just click the link, buy a bottle of this. This will last for probably a couple of years, maybe three, four years, and uh, it'll be shipped right to your door. So you don't have to you know, search around all these stores. Anyways, that's it, guys. A um, lot more stuff coming up. Thanks for sticking with me. Have a great day.